Today I walk you through my latest project, an RP2014 challenge entry for next PCB. I built a custom PCB that teams up an RP2014 with an Atmega 32U4 to create retro visual effects on a monochrome RC TV. We're talking 3D tunnels grid, rotating cubes and bleach effects, all with hands-on controls. It was a fun ride with some challenges along the way, so let's dive into the build and what I learned. If you enjoy this, hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell for more tech adventures. So this project started with a simple idea. I wanted to bring back those cool wireframe graphics from old school games using modern hardware. I picked the RP2014 for its dual core power to handle the logic and inputs, but the TV out library needed for the RC TV works best with the Atmega 32U4, so I decided to use them both, letting the RP2014 control the show and the Atmega 32U4 handle the display. Before this project, I already been experimenting with RCA video output using Arduino and ESP32, which really shaped how I approach this PCB. My first dive into this world was with an Arduino Nano and TV out library. Then I moved to ESP32, which opened up more possibilities with its dual cores and extra memory. I tested some open source projects, but the ESP32's video output was trickier. Noise from Wi-Fi and power issues kept crashing it. I learned to shield the RCA lines and stabilize the power supply, which came handy here. Those experiences led me to this dual microcontroller design. Of course, it is still an experiment and I'm not sure if it was a good decision. Let's see how it played out with this build. Special thanks to NextPCB for sponsoring this video. NextPCB is a leading one-stop service platform in the electronics industry, providing PCB manufacturing, PCB assembly, and their innovative error viewer. They are passionate about supporting the open source community, which is why they've launched the NextPCB Accelerate campaign. If you're working on an open source PCBA project using RP2040, here is your chance to take advantage of their offer. Next, PCB is providing free prototyping, which includes 5 PCBs and 2 SMTs, with a total value of up to $500. But be quick, because there are only 50 spots available. If you are interested, check out the link in the description for all the details. Check out the next PCB Accelerate campaign to learn more and get involved. For this project, I designed a PCB with following components. RP2040 microcontroller handles the logic, reading input from the potentiometers and rotary encoders, and communicates with the Atmega 32U4. Atmega 32U4 manages the TV out for video output to display the visuals on the TV. Two potentiometer slider control the movement, like up and down or zoom in and zoom out, via analog input on the RP2040. We also have six rotary encoders, which provide additional digital input for navigation or actions. No pixel LEDs offer visual feedback with programmable RGB lighting controlled by RP2040. And RCA socket connect to the TV for the video output from the Atmega 32U4. I wrote a few pieces of code to test how the device would work. I plan to expand this project in the future and that is when it will become truly useful. In the meantime, if you have any recommendations, please feel free to share them in the comments below. Cube Glitch, a visual experiment featuring a glitching 3D cube with random distortions and effects. Control and render to push the limits of our microcontroller's graphic capabilities and TV out display. I like to call this one a generative art project, where potentiometers adjust the frequency of a sine wave visualized on the TV, the RP2014 calculates the waveform and the Atmega 32U4 displays it. It's like a blending math and art. Controlling the cube, an interactive extension where six rotary encoders on the RP2040 allows the user to manipulate the cube's position, rotation, and scale in real time, offering hands-on control for a dynamic visual experience. 